uh, today we are cooking uh, okra stew. So we got the idea for this uh, at an Ethiopian place that we really like. Uh, they call it Bamiya there. And um, so Vinay really likes the stew there. Uh, you know, it's one of their only vegetarian options. And he's vegetarian. <laughs> so, you know, I tried to you know, come up with a recipe for it. Uh, looked, looked it up online quite a bit. And there are all these variations of how you can make Bamiya. And so I went to the vegetarian one. And so, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> so, uh, to go with Bamiya, we're also going to make uh, coconut rice. So, I guess the background for that recipe is from southern India. And so, basically there, what they do is they uh, roast fresh coconut uh, and they cook it along with the rice and then season it later on with like spices and, you know, lentils and stuff like that. But the way we're going to do it, just to give it a little more flavor, is to cook the rice with coconut milk itself instead of water. And then, uh, once the rice is cooked, mix it up with toasted coconut, a bit of chili, some ginger to bring out the flavor of the coconut and complement it. And also um, serve it maybe with some interesting sides. So these are the sides that we're going to uh, have with our rice and okra stew. Uh, this one's a lime pickle. Uh, I really like that brand, that's my favorite. It's called Priya, C-R-I-Y-A. You get it in most Indian stores. Basically, uh, slices of a lemon um, mixed up with spices and a bit of garlic. Now, the other one is a garlic pickle, uh, also one of my favorites. Uh, uh, the brand is called Shan. And basically, that's a tiny uh, cloves of garlic in, uh, uh, in a in a mixture of spices, olive oil, and oh, yeah. almonds and raisins. Okay, so this is coconut rice 101. <laughs> so there are two cups of rice in here, and one cup of coconut milk, water, and two cups of coconut milk. Two cups of coconut So basically what you want to do is two is to one water uh, to rice ratio so that's why two cups of coconut milk and two cups of water go in there and you can stir it around a bit if I can find the spoon the coconut milk has a bit of oil in there and that will help the rice from sticking to each other so that's good cover cook that's it for now so now we're making okra stew the so first thing is I've got about three tablespoons of oil in here, very heavy bottom pot, um, heat, heat it on medium high heat and so when the pot's hot enough, uh, in goes about one and a half large chopped red onion. And so we're going to saute the onion until it, uh, until it softens and then we'll get the other stuff in. Okay, the onions are nice and soft now. I'm putting in six cloves of really finely chopped garlic. Really fine. So, saute this for two, three minutes. So now I'm putting in about one tablespoon of cumin. And... About a teaspoonful of uh, peri peri, it's an African spice, gives it a bit of sweetness. And so we saute this for about a mm, couple of minutes until the you know the spices start smelling really good. Let's say about two or three minutes. Put in a couple of spices in here, about a tablespoon of cumin and about a teaspoon and a half of uh, piri piri, which is this African spice that you know gives the stew a nice sweet and spicy flavor. So now I've put in about two medium tomatoes, um, you know, roughly chopped is good enough. And I'm gonna saute this for about five to ten minutes, covered until the tomatoes like, break down and this whole thing here becomes kind of like a paste. Okay. 
Okay, so it's what? been about 10 minutes now and the onions and tomatoes here are nicely browning. The tomatoes have pretty much broken down and it looks like that. So into this I'm going to add about 2 tablespoons of tamarind, which that's what it looks like. So when you get that at the store, you kind of soften it in a bit of water, about one cup of water, two tablespoons of this in one cup of water, and put it in here. And that's what I have. It goes in there. And give it a little bit of a stir. And about a tablespoon, well, a large tablespoon of date paste. That's basically about six dates chopped up and mixed with a little bit of water. Okay, so now you can see this looks very nice and stew-like. So we're going to put in uh, one and a half packages of cut okra. So how much is that actually? So about one and a half pounds of cut okra go in here. That's one. It's about half. Okay, so give it a little stir. Bring the heat down to medium low. Give it a nice stir because it's all frozen there. And cover and cook for about 15 to 20 minutes until the okra breaks down a bit and is nice and tender. Uh, step two in making this coconut rice thing. <laughs> okay, so I have about two tablespoons of uh, sesame oil in here. It's uh, nicely heated up. And I'm going to put in about two teaspoons of cumin seeds. And you kind of stir this for... Oh, yeah. So, yeah, it's on medium high. And just stir this around for a little bit, like maybe a minute or so, until the cumin seeds are nicely roasted. Now about, uh, what, half a teaspoon of chopped green chili, the hot kind. So, you can hear that fluttering for a little bit. And about, about one tablespoon of finely chopped ginger. Fresh ginger. Okay, so saute that for about a minute or so. And then, and that's pretty much it. You add the rice in that you cooked and stir it around for a bit. There's the rice, nice and fluffy. And if you could smell it, it, it smells really nice and coconutty. So, the whole thing just goes in there. Put it a bit in the bottom. Okay. So, you just want to gently stir this so that you don't break up the rice too much. And we're almost done. So, now you just season it with a bit of salt. Stir it really well so all that good cumin gets into the rice. Okay. So now I'm going to put in about half a cup of shredded coconut. So this is the dry kind. If you're going to use the one that's you know more moist than this, you you might want to like roast it a little bit in before you put the rice in along with the cumin seeds. So maybe like a minute or two just to get rid of some of that excess water. So all right, I'm going to just spread about half a cup of this. Stir that around a bit, and the last and final touch is mm -hmm. salt. So salt, basically, just to taste. Uh, I guess about two, two and a half.
teaspoons. And that's it. That's coconut rice. Ta-da! So we're almost done with the okra. Now we just need to add salt to taste. So I usually add about two teaspoons. That's about it. And then, and then about two tablespoons of finely chopped cilantro. the juice of half a lemon and turn off turn off the fire here and give it a stir and we're done